Hi, I'm Devin and welcome to your second ALA video in the mentor lesson series. Um, I will be the LIT program director this summer at Lake Burton and I go to Wake Forest University and this will be my, let's go with, I've been coming to camp since I was six years old. So I'll let you guys do the math. <laughs> hey guys, uh, I'm Lucas. I'm gonna be the ALC PD at Lake Altoona this summer. Um, I'm a sophomore at Duke and this will be my 11th summer at camp. So yeah, not, not quite as long as you, but uh, still, still far up there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so today we're gonna be talking about the next two lines of the creed, but um, first we're gonna just do some rapid fire questions back and forth between me and Devin. So uh, first off, do you have any pets, Devin? Um, yes, I have, well, I'm fo currently fostering um, a pit bull from the shelter. His name is Garcia. What about you? <laughs> yeah, I have a golden doodle named Gracie. Oh. Okay, what is your favorite night program? Oh, I gotta say Capture the Counselor. I think uh, being on the staff side of that has made that my favorite night program. What about you? I have to say you stole my answer. I will go with Capture the Counselor every time. <laughs> that's a fan favorite there, yeah. Um, what's your favorite camp song then? Um, I'm gonna go with Reckless Love. Nice, yeah. Um, right. I'd have to say God of Wonders, just, just another classic song. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Okay, what do you like to do in your spare time? Um, I love to just go out for a run, maybe check out somewhere new. I haven't been. I have to be outside though. I, I can't run on a treadmill. Mm -hmm. What about you? Um, I, I'm on the cheer team, so that's pretty much, that's like, I like to work out, but cheerleading is pretty much my whole yeah. spare time. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was your favorite summer at camp and why? I think my ALC year, just because that's when I met a lot of people who um, I'd become friends with and then later become on staff with. So uh, it's kind of where, where it all started. What about you? Um, I'll have to agree. I think mine's kind of a, a toss up between my ALC year and then last year being ALCPD, probably both a tie for my best summers at camp. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna get into it. So the first line of the creed that we're gonna to talk to you guys about today um, is I will work on the small things first. Um, so Lucas, if you wanna tell us what that line means to you. Yeah, so I'd have to say working on the small things first um, is like um, whenever you're involved in something that's like kind of larger, like a group effort, um, there's always like ta a task at hand you can focus on, um, like being more detail oriented. Um, Cause like, for example, at camp KP is kind of like a huge collaborative effort, but there's always something that you can do. Um, maybe it's like being in the dish room or cleaning the serving stations, that sort of thing. There's always something um, like a task at hand that you can work on to contribute to the larger goal. Yes. What about I you? That, yeah, I think that's a great, that's a great response. And I like that you mentioned KP because that's one of those things that the tiniest mistake, like miscounting a stool will have a kid with like, with no place setting, you know, and you don't know how that's going to make them feel. So especially um, as each of you is stepping into a bigger role and like influencing the people around you, the small things matter a lot more than they did before. Um, so yeah, I think I like what you said. I think I definitely agree with all that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You, you definitely uh, don't even want to, like something you wouldn't even think of, like you said, the stool, like that affects mm -hmm. a camper. So mm -hmm. um, details are super important. Mm -hmm. um, so the second line of the creed is I will keep my sense of humor, which kind of takes like a different turn from the previous lines. Um, what, what do you think I'll keep my sense of humor means to you? Um, I think at the end of the day, it just means um, you're willing to laugh at yourself. Um, obviously, there's a lot of um, serious things that happen, but at the end of the day, it's summer camp and you're supposed to be having fun. Um, there are gonna be a lot of situations that don't go your way, but it's important to be able to laugh at yourself. Um, when I was thinking about what this line meant to me, I thought about um, an experience last summer where all of the PD girls were sleeping and we woke up with all of our stuff like half flooded, like every single thing that we owned was covered in water, like sewage water. Um, and what we all had to move. And while it was not a good situation, um, it was at the end of the day, all you can do is laugh when you're in the situations. And there's gonna be a lot of times in your ALC and LIT year where um, all you can do is laugh because everything isn't gonna go your way. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's definitely definitely a situation where uh, it'd be nice to appreciate a laugh. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think definitely just making sure that um, knowing at the end of the day, like we're about um, making sure the campers have fun and feel safe in that environment. So. Um, not taking yourself too seriously, because of course there's a lot of work that needs to be done, 
um, in planning and coordinating everything. But um, yeah, you're there to make the campers smile and for them to have a good time. Um, so like, you don't want to be taking things too seriously because then the campers aren't going to be having a good time. Um, like say like you're planning a skill and things don't go well. Like maybe you're playing a game of baseball and you can't find the bat, you can't find the ball, you can't find anything like make up your own game. It doesn't need to be that serious. Things aren't ruined just because things don't go your way. So exactly like what you were saying. Yes, that's a great point. Um, okay, and now Lucas is going to introduce our secret word that you'll be asked about in your reflection. Yeah, yeah. So I, I haven't been able to find the secret word, actually. I think I, I put it around here. So, oh, oh, my God, it's right here. <laughs> it's beach ball. The beach secret ball. word is beach ball. I know that's two <laughs> words, but um, hopefully, hopefully that's not too confusing for you to remember. Okay, perfect. And then, so now we're going to introduce our challenge for the week. So the first part of the challenge is I want each of you to ask, um, it can be a friend, a sibling, a parent, um, anyone in your life, um, what just the phrase, what can I do for you? Um, it can be big or small, but asking that goes a long way. Um, so I want you guys to try that each week and just reflect on it and see how that makes you feel helping someone else out and like just really being there for someone. And then the second part Lucas is gonna introduce. Yeah, yeah, in the spirit of keeping your sense of humor, um, this one's pretty simple, but just try to make someone laugh this week. And like, I don't mean like a friend or something if you're already joking, but someone who you see who might need it. I might just appreciate that moment of you taking the time to make them smile that day. So mm -hmm. go for it. Okay, so you guys will be able to find um, the link to the reflection um, and with this video. And you guys can also email if you have any questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just remember to fill out the form, remember the secret word. And uh, yeah, excited for this summer. Thank you, guys. See you guys.